time travel. There is a theory that you can go backwards in time. Reptilian brain. Many of the secrets of the brain are being revealed. Drugs addiction will eventually kill you. We live in the future. Time travel. That's something that we physicists actually look into. And we realize that if you have a wormhole, there is a theory that you can go backwards in time. Now in 1935, it was Einstein himself who postulated the existence of wormholes. If I have two universes parallel to each other and I create a bridge, a bridge between these two universes, then you fall into one and go into the other. Now the energy to do this is the energy of a black hole. So in other words, if there's a white hole, a white hole on the other end of a black hole, it means that you can fall in and fall out someplace else in the universe. And in quantum mechanics, there's something called the many worlds theory, that every time a measurement is made, the universe splits in half and keeps on splitting every time there's a, an observation being made. And so maybe when you go backwards in time, the river of time forks into two rivers. If you go to backwards in time to save Abraham Lincoln from being mm. assassinated at the Ford Theater, you save somebody else's Abraham Lincoln. Your Abraham Lincoln and your river of time die with an assassin's bullet. That cannot be changed. But the river of time splits and forks and you've saved another universe's Abraham Lincoln from being assassinated. That is what we physicists think is a possible resolution of all time travel paradoxes. The river of time forks. What are your thoughts about uh, certain drugs helping see the world from a different lens that others don't see? Well, one downside is addiction. And addiction will eventually kill you because you get addicted to a drug that interferes with the biochemistry of the body. Uh, drugs that are mild, like marijuana, we can go back and forth, back and forth looking at the data. But hard drugs will mess up the brain and create an alternate reality. So people who are creative, artists and writers and people who make their living being imaginative, I can see why they would want to do it. But the pitfall is it could control you to the point that you get addicted and you're a slave. You become a slave to this yeah. drug, creating the drug industry, which is a multi-billion dollar industry which paralyzes whole governments. Whole governments in Latin America are paralyzed because of the drug cartel, which makes money on people getting high. And so I think that there's a downside to this as well. Have you ever been curious about testing your own brain? I've had my brain scanned several times. Uh, I posted a few documentaries for BBC television and they flew me down to North Carolina where they have one of the, the finest MRI machines and uh, you can actually see thoughts as they emerge in the brain. You can actually see centers of the brain light up like a Christmas tree. And so many of the secrets of the brain are being revealed. For example, the back of the brain is the so-called reptilian brain is the brain of hunger, balance, aggression, the brain that a snake would have in the back of the brain or an alligator. The center of the brain is more or less the monkey brain, the limbic brain, the brain of social structures. That is the brain of how to defer to your elders, how to be kind to people. The, the brain that involves pack mentality. That's the center of the brain. And then the question is, what are we? What separates us from the animals? What separates us from the animals is the front of the brain, the prefrontal cortex. And so what does it do? What separates us from the animals? The front of the brain is a time machine. It daydreams. It constantly conjures up images of imagined futures. For example, let's do an experiment. Go home tonight and talk to your dog and teach your dog the meaning of tomorrow. Very simple. Teach your dog the meaning of tomorrow. You can't. 
it's impossible because animals live in the present. Their prefrontal cortex is not fully developed. They don't imagine the future. And that's what separates humans from animals. We live in the future. Brain scans constantly show that when somebody is daydreaming about the future, they're actually accessing the past, past memories, and then altering it to create alternate futures. That's how we recall images. If you brain scan an animal, you find out that they don't think about the past, they don't think about the future, they only think about the present. So that's what separates humans from animals. Humans live in the future. We constantly daydream, plot, scheme. We're constantly thinking, what can I do? What does that mean? Why is he saying this? We're constantly thinking about gossip, about alternate futures. What if I did what if I what if I did this? What if I did that? That's called humanity. That's why we differ from the animals. Because if you read the mind of an animal, all they're worried about is where's lunch? Where's dinner? That's pretty much it when you brain scan an animal. We hope you found this video valuable. Let us know what your opinion on all this is down in the comments section. And don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this.